Hello, everyone. I am live. Welcome to You Are Our Live. We are going to have some fun today. We're going to have a rap song. We're going to play with Legos and we will have a Q&A at the end. So if you have any questions about You Are Our, please chime in, please write something and I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, if you watch this video after the live stream is over, please uh, include a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. <sighs> welcome, welcome. It is Tuesday, July 29th, and we know that the first Wednesday of the month, so next Wednesday is lab day. Lab day is a little more work. We have a lot of labs to draw and one of the labs is BUN and the other lab is URR. Let me take a look at my notes. All right, in the United States every month, we need to prove that we are cleaning dialysis patients' blood enough or that we are cleaning dialysis patients' blood enough. And this is done two ways. It is done by measuring the KT over V of our dialysis patients, and it's done by measuring the URR of our dialysis patients. Hey there, everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna focus on the URR. The KT over V is complicated and I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time doing a good educational video on that. So let's focus on URR or urea reduction ratio. And with that, I'm going to sing, sing you guys a rap song. I'm a little nervous, but I've been practicing and I'm kind of excited to do it. <clears throat> Here we go. This is live, so please like and subscribe to this urea reduction ratio rep because too many toxins make you feel like crap. Now listen here while wow, this nurse from Wisconsin will teach you how to measure those toxins. BUN, post BUN, post subtraction division. Now let's complete our URR mission. Woo! All right, encore, encore. Maybe I'll sing it again at the end. All right, going on to page three. What is your R, urea reduction ratio? So we know that urea is a BUN, blood urea nitrogen. We know that reduction means subtraction and ratio equals percentage. So we have, we're gonna measure the URR and we need two labs. We need the BUN at the start of dialysis or a pre-BUN, here we got some Legos. And then we also need a post-BUN or the U. BUN at the end of dialysis. So we hook a patient up to dialysis, we verify their prescription, we have the right dialyzer, we have the right blood flow, we have the right time. We draw their pre-BUN and then they have dialysis, do, 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 dialysis. And then the dinger goes off and dialysis is done and we need another lab at the end. Check your facility's policy, but most of the post-BUN are drawn by putting the machine in bypass, decreasing the blood flow to 100 mils per minute, waiting 15 seconds, and then drawing the post-dialysis bun. And now we have everything we need to measure the URR. All right, next. Don't pay attention to these numbers. Let me see, this one, not this one, okay. So we have the pre-BUN and the post-BUN. So let's see, the pre-BUN is one, two, three, four, five, six. So the pre-BUN is 60, and then we have the post-BUN, and that's 20. So we need to subtract, right? Reduction, we need to subtract. So 60 minus 20 is 40. So now we have the amount of urea removed during dialysis. 60, pre-BUN, post-BUN. So now we have the amount of urea removed during dialysis. One, two, three, four. So we have 40, we removed 40 BUN. The BUN dropped by 40 points. So there's a subtraction part. And now we need to get a ratio. And the ratio we know is division. So we have the amount of urea removed during dialysis, 40 divided by the pre-BUN, 60. So let's get our calculator here. Do, do, do. Urea reduction ratio rep. Okay, so pre-BUN is 40. 40 divided by, wait, no. Amount of urea removed is 40 divided by the pre-BUN, which is 60, divided by 60. And that equals 60.66666. And then to get it to a percentage, we just multiply it by 100. 
66.6%. And who knows what the magic number is for urea? What we need our URR to be. 65. Magic number is 65. All right, so we made it. So if we started with 60, dropped it to 20, we got a URR of 66%. The reason, here's another one. I can do it on paper too, so you guys have another visual. So let's say our pre-HD BUN was 50. The post-HD BUN was 15. So amount of urea removed equals 50 minus 15, which gives us 35. So the amount of urea removed was 35. Do you guys have any questions so far? And then the next thing is we have the amount of urea removed divided by the pre BUN. So in this scenario, we removed our BUN drop by 35 points. And then we're going to divide that by the pre BUN, which is 50. And that gives us 0.7. And if we want to get that into a ratio or a percentage point, we're going to multiply that by 100. So this person's URR is 70. Ah, we did it. We made it twice. Oh, we're so good. We're doing such a good job. All right. So now why? Why do we care about the URR? Why do we need to prove every month that we're cleaning everybody's blood? adequately. And the research shows that people will have fewer hospitalizations and people will live longer if their average URR is greater than 60%. And with that, the experts rounded up to 65%. We just have to measure it once a month. But you know, what, what happens if we didn't meet our URR? What if we had a 56% URR? Then I need you guys to look at, well, how did the dialysis treatment go? Did they achieve their did they achieve their blood flow? Were they on the right dialyzer? Was they, their DFR correct? Did they end treatment early? Was the machine starting and stopping a lot? Some of those things will kind of give you an outlier. So you need to recheck it before you make any changes. If you see those outlier things happening, which, you know, it happens on dialysis. People stop to go to the bathroom. They get sick. They cut treatment or time early. So you just you need to recheck it again. If you're still, if everything is right and you're still getting low URR numbers, you need to look at if you have a fistula, how well the fistula is working. Are you also getting high potassium levels? Are you getting a lot of recirculation with your dialysis treatments? Um, or maybe there was an error in sam sampling. Maybe they didn't take the BUN right away, or maybe they didn't put the machine in bypass and let the machine go for 30 seconds. So look at those things. And sometimes maybe they just need a longer treatment time. Maybe they're new. They started with a shorter treatment. You are on a good size dialyzer. Everything is going right, but you're not meeting their URR. So, be, and they could be a bigger patient. They might have more waste products to remove. So they need more time. So if those people, you'll have to talk to the provider about increasing their treatment time, which, you know, to be on the machine hard, longer is hard on the patients mentally, it can be hard mentally, but when you talk to them, you need to tell them why this URR is important, why we need a, a number of 65%. And it's not just because, you know, the CMS tells us that we need one of 65. It's because we have better outcomes with better URR. And usually that's all it takes to change people's minds. What else? I think that's about it with URRs. I got three people on here. We're about nine minutes in. Do you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, insights into URR? Please comment. I would love to talk to Alice. I could be on here all day. Um, oh man, I just can't wait to do this wrap again. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll do the wrap one more time for because I think it's fun and I think it's cool. <clears throat> All right. This is live. So please like and subscribe to this urea reduction ratio wrap because too many toxins will make you feel like crap. Now listen here. While this nurse from Wisconsin will teach you how to remove those toxins. BUN, post-BUN, subtraction, division. Now let's complete our URR mission. Hey, Lisa. Oh, good. Yeah. You, you know, I always thought URRs were measured. I thought I just had to 
take the pre BUN and the post BUN and like divide or subtract that. And I was never get, getting the right numbers. So I'm like, well, I've been on doing dialysis nursing for a few years. I should know the exact way to do it. And um, it's definitely helped me talk to patients about it. The KT over V I'll talk about in a different video. And it's, it has more to do with the patient size where um, it estimates how much fluid is in the patient's body. Like we were made of 60% fluid, but it's, it's complicated and I, I need to do more research on it. But KT over V is what we send to CMS, but best research says that URR and KT over V both need to be adequate. Yeah, it's not. And I, I kind of, when I explain it, when I'm training, I'm like, okay, it's how much we reduce the urea. So we need the pre and the post. And then that's kind of where I stopped. I always kind of missed that next step. So I hope this helps you on lab day next week and why it's so important to measure it adequately to get it pre and post and to make sure that their blood flows up to prescription to make sure that the machine's running well. Yeah, and then if you don't make the URR that, usually you just need to measure it once a month until you meet the requirements. So if I check a URR and I'm not getting a 65% or greater, then we either need to make changes to their prescription or they had a, you know, a weird treatment where you need to check it and make changes and do interventions until you get that URR above 65%. Generally, the KT over V also has to be 1.2 or above. And all of this matters because the patients have better outcomes, but it also affects reimbursement from CMS. They have certain benchmarks that you need to meet. And every month you have to meet where you need like 99% of your patients meeting your dialysis adequacy numbers. Ah, oh, dialysis. We're plumbers, we're mathematicians, we're nurses, we're caregivers. <sighs> we do it all. Oh, this was so much fun. Thank you guys for watching. <sighs> Have a happy 4th of July. And I will sign off. Lisa, if you have any more questions, please put some comments down, um, any suggestions. If anybody else has any kind of mnemonics or wraps that you want people to know about, you can join our Facebook group and share them there. We're a lot of fun over there. And we're at about 12 and a half minutes. And I think, um, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much. Do, 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 dialysis is signing off. We're signing off of the live stream.